These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Mark Z via PDK. Question, does the market need to crash before we see the RV? Answer, not necessarily. A crash, of course, would force the issue, but we've been seeing corrections in our markets already. Bond markets are approaching 2%, and I was told when they hit 3%, then there would be an implosion and a reset. So do we have to see one? No. But will we see a crash because they keep dragging their feet? There is a good chance the market crash should happen after we exchange. All right, Frank26 says the international world has been set up to enter Iraq. We can see the articles. The international world would not dare enter Iraq if they had not been in Article 8. All the UN sanctions had not been removed if they didn't have protection for their currency. They are Article 8, and that's why counties are coming into Iraq, because they lifted the value of their currency, whether it be on the secondary books, electronically, or whatever. It's been done. The international world is ready to come into Iraq. That screams a new rate, in my opinion. One, two, three, this is it. All right, Mountain Goat article quote, al Kabi calls for a serious urgent stop to return to the previous dollar exchange rate. Just so much news about the exchange rate. Yes, lots of pressure from all directions to finally go back to a normalized rate and off the sole de facto peg of the U.S. dollar. It is time. It will happen. I cannot give you a time as I do not know, uh, but I do know they are discussing it and making plans for it in 21, not 22. All right, uh, walking stick via Frank 26. One of the many meetings going on with the IMF is an executive level with the banks of Iraq on the subject of the new exchange rate and the new small category notes. They were presented multiple exchange rates. Uh, when they tell the citizens the new rate and they show them the new notes, it's the onset. One, at the onset, they will release their currency at the one-to-one -one rate in the very near proximal Proximal future. Number two, the CBI has been given a benchmark to collect a certain amount of the three zero notes. The time frame is not carved in stone. Number three, these meetings are to conclude the redenomination of the new small category notes. Um, number one, they have a time frame that is solid. The onset of one to one is for the citizens domestically because a dinar is a dinar, but it's also for the international world. Number two represents an adjustment in the exchange rate of one to one when the CBI reaches a certain assigned benchmark of collecting the three zero notes. They need to collect a particular number of notes in a particular value before the second increase in the exchange rate. Number three is the conclusion of number one and the number two, and the time frame is unknown. We don't know how long it will take them to collect the three zero notes. Uh, number four, internationally, in my opinion, I see this thing capping at $4.25. My opinion, about eight months for it to reach that cap. You got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. All right, Petra says because there's a huge amount of infrastructure that was necessary to bring this whole thing together, and now looking in hindsight, we see the requirements, what were necessary for the premise. It cannot fail with the citizens. There was no true kicking the can was the development of the infrastructure that was necessary so it would be successful. A lot of work had to be done to make it work. And to make it clear, no more shenanigans can go on inside of rack banks and markets. It's going to be a clear, transparent system by which currencies and business can transact in the world we call a rack. All right, Mark Z via PDK, we're in a good spot right now. Sit tight. We're awfully close to the end of this. The folks on the ground in Iraq are also expecting it, a major announcement about their currency within the next few weeks. In Iraq, uh, they very much expect a new value before April 1st. Even Mr. C, Guru Mike Cottrell, thinks we could go at any moment. I would not be surprised to get a call at any moment. All right, Mountain Goat, uh, March is going to be a very significant month for everyone everywhere. This week, I took the time to call my contact person in the CBI. I'm told the IMF just completed a week-long high-level meeting to finalize the project to delete the zeros and just how they plan to roll it out. Why would they do this now? Also, in this meeting, uh, they talked rates for the in-country revaluation and then the later reinstatement. The rates are rising as oil is rising to over $70 a barrel. I was reminded by my contact that they will soon no longer be no longer dependent on the currency auctions. 
This was fantastic news as I know what this means. They have not yet used the Buna system but are fully functional and tied into it. All right, Pimpy, article quote, Al Habuzi directs to include the budget bill next Monday. I think we're at a place right now where this negotiation is going to get finalized between Herbal and Baghdad, and you're going to see shortly after that the budget go ahead and pass. Something about the presence of the Pope changed people's views on things, and they decided to start cooperating, which is very good. All right, Militiaman, a process had to be brought forth. A currency reform is complex. It's not an easy task to do what they're doing. They have to set up things. They've got decisions that need to be made. They have to set the stage for the economy to be able to do this. And they have to have components of psychology involved because the people can't adjust. Ultimately, they had to get everything in order, kicking the can, or were they really just stalling for the system to be in place? Eventually, they've got to finish it. I think the 2021 budget, the Kurds, hydrocarbon law, they're all waiting for the same thing. The time to get that phone call saying, show up. It's showtime. All right. And lastly, with Mountain Goat article, quote, representative economic, the conditions are ready to adjust the exchange rate and the oil barrel in the budget. Uh, Al Faley said the conditions are in place to restore or reduce the exchange rate of the dollar against the Iraqi dinar in the draft budget. This article is powerful. They're telling us that now that the economic conditions are ready, they are ready to adjust the exchange rate. No more excuses, but they need the new rate in the budget. I know for a fact they will never put the rate in the budget until it is all completed. So Al Fali knows what he knows, but not what the CBI will ever do for security reasons.